So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I do before I hit the road. So this is what is in my garage area and it fits in this little basket. I basically have four of these underneath my bed. They fit under that 30 by 40 base that I have. And they're just little drawers. I think I got them at Target and they're perfect height as well for sliding in and out. And this is in the, the back section and all of this fits in there. So I've got fire starters. I've got a little kit that has clips and uh, carabiners and glue uh, and, and extra uh, chargers and things like that in here. This has, I have two of these on my ceiling and they uh, have LED light or LED batteries in them. And so I just kind of, or actually these are regular AAA batteries. Uh, these are LED lights, candles that I have. So I just have extras uh, in case I need them to switch them out. These are some matches that I just kind of keep dry. I keep this in, in the pack too, in case I go backpacking or anything and need that really quick. These are all my tools uh, and essentials, my tape measures in there. I've got screwdrivers, I've got pliers, I've got things like that that will help me. Then in this little basket, I kind of have all of this that goes in. So these are extra, U or not extra, but they're the USB cords that I use for all my little devices. And I just kind of, uh, I label them and then put them in here for later. Gotta have duct tape. So I have that. This is a tire inflator in case I just need to quickly get out of trouble, uh, inflate or deflate my tires or uh, have a flat that I can repair that way. This is actually a tire repair kit that I have. I also subscribe to AAA. I know that it won't help me if I'm way out in the boonies, but I have it for the road when I am uh, hitting the highways and things like that. These are just little kind of hand warmers, foot warmers, thermal blanket in case I ever should need that. Then these are extra bungees and rope and little rubber ties. And then this just has a bunch of odds and ends. Again, sometimes I just take from here if I'm gonna uh, go hiking and I need a knife or something like that, I just keep that all here. So all of this fits into that, like this. So then here are my other bins. And what I've done is divided them out according to what I need. This is just from another little underbed storage thing that has Velcro that I can move these however I need them at the time. And so what I do is a military fold or Maria Kondo fold to get as much as I can in little spaces. I've always kind of uh, done something like this so that I can have everything organized and in a really small space, it's really, really important. So this is all the stuff that I can fit underneath my van for clothing. So usually I have a couple pair of jeans, usually I'm wearing one and then I have another that I pack and all you do to fold them up is kind of roll them like this, fold them in half. And then they actually fit more when you kind of fold rather than roll. Uh, so I do this and then these are just another pair of light pants. These are some dress pants that can be dressed up or down uh, in case I have somewhere that I wanna go or go out to dinner. Then these are hiking pants, another pair of hiking pants, and some sweatpants. So those fit in there nicely. And then I usually have a couple pair of shorts. I put those kind of in the back. And then no girl is complete without her leggings. And so I usually have several pair of those. I used to never wear them, but they actually are very practical. And so I like them. And you just fold them the same way and they fit in this way. So I can usually pit put three, four, five pairs of those. So these are my bottom. Then for my tops, I have it divided a little bit differently. Uh, in the back here, I usually have undergarments and socks and bathing suits. And then these are rash guards for bathing if I, it's cold out. And then these are shoes if I happen to be in a river or a lake. I just put them like that. And then in the front here are the first layer, usually of things that I would wear like, I, and, and that's really important when you are packing for a bag because you really know, not, do not know what kind of weather you're gonna 
run into. I've made the mistake where I've been in thinking that I'm gonna be in a warm climate and it gets cold and vice versa when I thought that I was gonna be cold and then it got warm out and that was really sucky because all I had was long sleeve shirts. So now uh, these are like little strap first layer kind of clothing. So I always have just multiple type layers. These are all like that um, and I have them kind of from light to dark. I mean, I don't know, that's just an extra way to organize it so that I can find it. Um, and then these are more, I usually wear the, like some of these as another layer. And so that's what these are. And those fit in there like that. So those are my tops. And then you see on both of these, there is a layer on top that is kind of left free space in case I need to just put some other things on top. Then I have a little free drawer here, which I put these kind of uh, tops, okay? So this, this is kind of a polyester blend. And I do that because as I've been traveling internationally for so long, never know when you're gonna have an iron. These, you can crinkle up and they never get wrinkled or they look okay wrinkled, some of these. So I use those. And these, I don't fold the same way because they actually fit better when you just kind of fold them because they're so thin. You can just kind of fold them in half and do this. Uh, some sweatshirts. Then I, I wanted to talk about these because I found them online and I thought it was kind of a joke, but these are like replaced thermal underwear. They're very thin layer and they look like they'd be really tight, but they're, they fit comfortably. They don't feel tight when you have them on and they keep you really, really warm in cold weather. So I like it because it's so, such a thin layer, but it really keeps you nice and warm. So I usually have that in there too. So that is what fits under my bed along with my garage. So my garage would kind of be over here. Then I have one more layer and this goes above my overhead. I have built out a shelf from uh, my driver and passenger seat in the Ford Connect. There's usually a little plastic one where you can put things. If you build out a shelf, then you have more space, a lot of space right above all of that and it doesn't take up any headroom. So this is one of those pop out sinks and I originally had gotten this thinking that I would use it in the sink area. So it's very deep, uh, but it was a little bit bigger than I wanted on top of there. And then I realized that I really wasn't going to use like a in sink in that area, just use kind of a little spittoon thing for brushing my teeth. And so if I need something bigger, I have this in, in case like I need to do a lot of dishes or clothes or something like that. So put there, then have the electric blanket on top of that. And then this is a bag, a uh, little duffel that folds into itself that I could use for going shopping. So it just goes like that. This is a jacket you see me wearing a lot in my videos when it's cold outside, it folds into itself. This was a gift from my uh, sister-in-law, Norma, so thank you. Uh, then I have my little uh, water bottle. So in case this also works for cold nights to keep you warm. These are some uh, thermal socks and batteries, which actually should go into my garage section. I forgot about them. So these go like that on top. And this is all the stuff that I have. So now I'll tell you where everything kind of goes in the van. So the garage stuff that I have goes right under here. So I know where everything is and it fits under like so. And it has even a little room here on back. And then I just kind of have this go down on top of it. And then I said, I usually keep this side open for firewood or things like that, that I kind of need to just stuff in there. So then my clothes go under this part here in the front so that they're easily accessible inside the van. So these are my pants and these are my shirts. And then I just put that under and voila, you can't even see it. And so now I have these other bins that I said I will would put up here. And this is the shelf that I built out. Back here is my camp chair and then a little cover that I got for it. This is my shower curtain with my shower rod that you saw in the other one. And then this is just a mat that I put outside my van to keep me from dragging in sand and dust and things like that. So these just go on top here like so. And then it gives it a little bit of a clean look up there. So 
I put in the food storage, so make sure that I get a lot of stuff in here. And I told you that I have this little extra bin underneath there that I don't access that often. This is like chocolate chips and some pancake mix and some egg replacer because I can't eat eggs. And so that just slips under that little shelf in here, like so. And then it's out of the way. So then these are all stocked up now, these two bins that I've showed you before. Uh, they're utterly full with things. So that's about two and a half, three weeks worth of rice and lentils and things like that. So then I have shown you this before, my little igloo cooler that has a storage for a lot of things. What I do sometimes just to make sure that I get enough protein because I do eat mainly vegetarian. I'm not against eating meat, but I just, uh, it's easier. Uh, so I have these little shakes and I usually just put these all in here and they keep nice and fresh. And even if they get a little warm, they still taste yummy. So I store this by the foot of the front passenger side and it stays nice and cool. So my water is very important. So what I do usually is I fill this 2.5 gallon tank before I leave. And I just use this little funnel to do it and make sure this is nice and full. But then I have other storage and I'll show you in a minute. So I usually have two of these and I just have them a little bit full. I, I don't usually have them all the way full cause you can get water wherever you are. Um, but since I'm here, I'm just kind of doing it. So these go like that. Then I have these which are 1.5 gallons each. So that's three gallons. So as you can see, I have capacity for 2.5 gallons in back. These are both 2.5 gallons. So that's 7.5 gallons, then another three gallons here. So that is 10.5 gallons. And then my shoes, I forgot to tell you. So usually I wear these or a pair of light gym shoes and I've got these type, they're rubber, which are really good because they can get wet and they rinse off. And obviously you always have to have flip flops. And then I've got two pair of pennies. One pair goes behind here in this little area back here that just has these webbing designs. And I, I store actually my first aid kit back here. And then these kind of all just slip back here. There's a room underneath my seat. And then I can access them this way or from under here. And then I still have storage under here as well. Uh, again, free space is good to have just in case for all those little odds and ends that you might have at last minute. So that is how I pack for a long trip and I will see you guys on the road.